So the driveway is gonna come from where that gravel ends, come through here, I haven't dug this out yet, make a turn and go down to the house. So this is all basically dug out, but because it's a hill that slopes not only towards the tractor, but also that way, I'm lining one side up to this point with railroad ties. So what I'm doing now here at the bottom is getting the first railroad tie in. I want that to be even with the top of the patio. And then after that, it won't matter as much. I've put a string line here, but I'm not trying to follow this string line exactly. What I want is the top of this railroad tie to be even with the top of this patio. So I've dug out a little trench here. And then once we get this first one in and solid, we'll use that one as a reference point going up. Railroad ties are not the same width. The outside of the railroad ties will line up, but inside there's gonna be a little irregularity as we go down the line here. So first of all, let's see if this one fits. I'm gonna try and lift it over here without disturbing any dirt. It went right on the string line, but the string line will pop back up. I think I can beat it to fit and paint it to match. I'm gonna push it down this way with the sledgehammer. I think that'll, that'll be good enough. That looks pretty good. Water runs from behind the camera to here, and the idea is we'll have to put some sort of basin down here. And I also have some pieces of rebar to drive through here if needed, but this one won't kick out because it's got a, a little berm here on the side. And I'm also gonna come down this whole side with clay to berm it up and also put some clay on the inside here as well. Didn't go too bad. I'm not digging them in, so it actually was kind of easy. They are heavy though. I wish the excavator was out here to move them. But now I'm gonna drill partially through the railroad tie and then beat in these pieces of rebar. I don't have enough to do two per railroad tie, so I'm gonna do two on the end one here. Two, I think, down there, one needs two, and then one in the middle. I figure the butt ends will keep them from kicking out. Plus I'm gonna put a layer of clay here, like a wedge. The reason I'm not drilling all the way through is I don't wanna pick these up and keep them out of the dirt. So I'm gonna try and drill them and just leave a little bit at the bottom and then just poke it through with the rebar. Let's see how this goes. So I have to bust through a little bit of wood there. Not bad at all that railroad ties going anywhere. Worked out pretty good so far. The railroad ties haven't been that bad so far. I'm not measuring or anything. I'm just kind of picking the center, then drilling down until I feel the drill kind of stop. If I feel like it's going too far. I'll spin it up because I don't want to hit that dirt on the bottom. Let's see if this one will pound through because this one feels more solid than the last few. So there's probably two inches at the bottom that I had to drive that through. With all the railroad ties spiked down now, I'm going to take some of this clay from the pond and put along here, just go along with the tractor and the shovel. Fill this in, I'll come back and pack it later. It took about four tractor bucket loads of dirt, but I got that clay in on the outside. And now I'm gonna take the tractor wheels and pack it in good, and then put a little bit of clay down here in the base of the road bed. That packed in real good and I almost hit the camera with the box blade and that wasn't for show. I looked back at the last second and made a steering correction, but otherwise it would have knocked the camera over. I'm gonna take the shovel and clean this up, but this came out real good. It's packed in real good. I don't think we'll have any problem with those railroad ties moving. I put a bucket of dirt on the inside of the railroad ties. Now I'm gonna take the tractor, pack that in and smooth it out and then work on the other side of the driveway.
Okay, I need three, and I've only picked up one at a time. I wonder if I can pick up two at a time. Thumb there. It's like that game in the grocery store, that pickup game. Except this one's a lot more expensive than a quarter. It's hard for me to drive and film. I don't have an excavator mount camera. Compared to the tractor, this thing is so quiet. Kubota Strong at Piney Grove. We're not sponsored by Kubota, just impressed. Sure, I don't hit the house or the HVAC. All that would be expensive. Boom is extended like that. You get a nice angle on these. I don't know how I'm going to get a single now. Split it with the bucket. Got it. Sheer luck. And got the third railroad tie. I think it'll go like this. These railroad ties will go right here. Dug it out a little, but I don't feel like using the shovel too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the dirt with the excavator while I got it out. There's water pipes here, so I gotta be careful. If you see water come up, that'd be a bad day. And that means I'll be fixing water pipes. I don't want to do and I have no excuse because me and Deb put the water pipes in so I should know where they are so many people can grade with a bucket on an excavator and I just don't have that skill set I would say yet but I may never have it unfortunately for me I had to turn off precious because the rest has to be done by shovel but this should be quick because I got that soil nice and loose I didn't spend a lot of time on that trench because this is the high side and it's not as important for the driveway. All the water will be running off this side, not to it. Caught this T-post somehow. <laughs> the T-post is in the excavator teeth. There it goes. Spade that comes up on the T-post, the excavator teeth had clamped down on it. That would have been skill if I could have done that on purpose. It's actually not in there bad, I guess. You've got a better angle than me. Must be getting tired because my excavator skills are worse than normal. I think it's better if I drop it here and then push it over. Not cooperating. I guess I have dirt in there, that's why. I'm not doing this by hand because I thought the excavator would be easier. I don't know. Might not have been. It don't look half bad. There's a little crook to it. Maybe I can take that out with the sledgehammer. But that's going to do it for today's video. And remember, life's short, tractor hard. Take care, y'all.